Uh, All right, let's talk travel. I know uh, you, everyone here likes to travel. I yeah, mean, who doesn't? But when you're traveling, the goal is usually to pack light. Yeah. Having the right gadgets can make all the difference. So here are a few that I've been testing lately. When you're traveling, less is more. These gadgets won't add much weight to your bag, but they pack a lot of useful features. First up, the Sony Earbuds WF-1000XM5. Thanks to AI, they have excellent noise cancellation and audio quality, and battery life is incredible. One of the coolest features is multi-point audio. You can have these earbuds connected to two Bluetooth devices at the same time, which means if you're watching video on your computer and a call comes in on your phone, it'll route right to your earbuds. They're also comfortable and compact, but I just wish for $300 they stayed in my ears better. On the plane, stay entertained with the Nintendo Game & Watch system. The $50 handheld is preloaded with classic Mario or Zelda games. No internet or downloads necessary. They finally seem to be back in stock at retailers. Using your phone for entertainment? Check out Clicker. It magnetically attaches to the back of an iPhone, making it easier to grip your phone for selfies and videos. But it also clicks to form a kickstand. Great for FaceTiming on the road or watching videos on the plane, $30. Keep everything charged up and ready to go with this powerful international adapter from One Adapter. I tested the $100 One World 100 on my recent trip to Korea, and it worked like a charm. There are two standard USB ports and two USB-C ports with a massive 100 watts of power each. This means you can charge a laptop and a tablet at the same time. More power means less charging bricks to carry. It works in over 200 countries. Speaking of cables, check out these minimalistic charging cables from Nomad. The charge key comes in Lightning or USB-C and they clip to a keychain, so they're always by your side. Lightning is $35, USB-C is $25. The ends magnetically attach to each other when they're not in use. Very convenient. Uh, now, if someone could only invent a gadget so that I could pack everything for a week-long trip in a carry-on, then I'd be set. Seriously, how do those people do it? I don't know. Yeah, I don't you have those airbags. No, light, I right? cannot. Just roll them all tight. Yeah, you did. I decided on my last trip, you know, I, was, I got the pressure to pack in a carry-on yeah. to, to Seoul. Yeah. I was like, you know what? Why? No, yeah. well, because I might have to deal with yeah. that. No, Only if you're changing flights. I know, if, if you're you trying to lose It's only a week, right? It was like four days. Mm. You can't do four. I can do four days. I can do four days. I can do ten days. When I put everything in the bigger suitcase, there yeah. was so much extra room. I'm like, all right, I'll take that. And I was just like taking things off <laughs> the shelf. You're an overpacker. I would think so.